What's up my friends, my name is Forge and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you on how to make Minecraft Java look almost like the console edition. Now this is using a mod pack created by Locky Magenix and basically makes Minecraft Java and basically has a few different mods that you can use to make Minecraft Java look almost like the console edition. Now, unfortunately, there aren't any mods out there that end up like changing the crafting table UI or any of the other UIs to look like console edition, but it does introduce a new tile screen layout and plus a new animation for the game loading screen and some console edition text packs pre-installed. So let's get right into the video. If you enjoyed this video, then consider subscribing as it helps out quite a bit and shows the support for the channel. Thank you. Now first off, you will need Minecraft Forge for 1.12.2. So go down here and go down to recommended and click installer. Then it should start to download and just click keep. And I also recommend getting Optifine for 1.12.2. So go down here, click on mirror, and then it takes you to this page. Just click download. And yet again, just click keep. And once both files are finished, go ahead and drag those to your desktop. But however, before you can start to download Forge, you need to go over to installations, click on new installation, and name this wherever you want. For me, I'm gonna call this Xbox 360, and then I'm gonna go down the version, and I'm gonna change this to 1.12.2. So there we go, and click on create. I'm gonna click play, and yes, I understand the risks, and play. And once you're in Minecraft, just click quit game. And now you're ready to install Forge 1.12.2. So double click on there, and you'll get this pop-up. Just click okay, and it will start to install Forge. And then once it's done, it will give you this pop-up, and it'll tell you that it is now successfully done. So click okay. You will then need to go into the description and go to this link, where it'll take you to the Xbox 360 mod pack created by Lockery Mogenix. Just simply click on download Google Drive, just click here, and it'll take you right over to the download. Just go right up here and click on the download button and download anyways. Then it will just download the mod pack. Once you're done downloading the mod pack and you've extracted it, you'll be left with this folder, it says relive Xbox 360. If you click on there, then it'll give you a bunch of different folders. The only folder you need to worry about is right here. It's the Minecraft folder. And right side of here, you'll get yourself all these different files. Open up another file explorer, go up to your search bar, then type percent app data percent, press enter, and then you'll find your dot Minecraft folder. Go ahead and click on there. Make sure you create a mod folder. Then inside of here, you'll need to make a folder. I'm going to name this folder Xbox. Then inside of here, go ahead and drag all the items that's in the Relief 360 folder and just drag that right inside of there. Heading back over to the Minecraft launcher, click on installations in the new profile that you've created. Click on the edit button. Then you'll need to change the game directory of where you drag the items to. Just click browse, click on dot Minecraft, go down to mods, and then the folder that you've created, then click OK. And now the directory is now in place. Go over to version and locate where the Forge version is. And there we go, we have 1.12.2 Forge. Go ahead and click on that version, then click save, and click play. And here we are in 1.12.2. But however, what if you're using multi-MC? Well, I'm gonna explain that right now. So we're over on the website for MultiMC, and this is a free program, completely safe, and lets you create different mod packs. When that's done downloading, drag that over to your desktop, and go ahead and extract it. You'll be greeted with this folder that says MultiMC. Go ahead and open that up, and then you have all these files. Click on MultiMC.exe, and now you're ready to install this. I am English, then it's going to ask you to allocate some memory. I'm just going to leave everything as is, and click next and then finish. And there we go, we have MultiMC installed. Now right up here, we're gonna have to add a profile. Then click on Manage Accounts. Then from here, you can either add a Microsoft account or a Mojin account. You cannot play anything unless you add an account. But it will go ahead and tell you to open up your browser and you'll need to type in this code. This will take you to the Microsoft website where you can authenticate your account for MultiMC. And once you got all that done, it will log you into your Microsoft account. And then the next step is to add the mod pack. So you'll need to locate Relive Xbox 360.zip and drag it into MultiMC. Then it'll give you this pop-up. Just click OK. Now this will take a little bit of time to load in, but if it does say not responding, do not freak out. It just means it's doing its thing. And there we go, it is now extracting the mod pack. And there we go, it has just popped up. So we have Relive Xbox 360. In order to play it, just double click it. Then it'll start to get the library files. It's now getting the asset files. Now if it does give you this console error, let's go down to settings. And usually it has something to do with the Java installation. And choose the one that has the star, which is usually recommended. Go ahead and close out of there. Then try to reload it again. And there we go. Minecraft is now popping up. And we're now within the mod pack. So with everything now in place, 
We're now ready to take a look at all of this in action. So first off, let's see what mods we got. We have controllable, which lets you use controllers on the Java edition. Like if you want to use a 360 controller or maybe Xbox One, then you can absolutely do that. You've got the console HUD, the custom loading screen, got concrete, fancy menu, scaling GUIs, and tip line. If the menus are a little bit too small for you, let's go over to mods, scroll down to scaling GUIs, and click config. And then up here, you guys have a few options. Right up here, you'll find GUI scale. Go ahead and change this to auto. You can also change the HUD and tooltips if you really want to. And when I go back to the main title screen, the buttons are a lot bigger. Now the main title screen is based off of Toto Update 31. I'm definitely a really big fan of that update. It introduced a bunch of new biomes, a really cool interesting tutorial world, and so much more. If I click on play a game, and I click on create new world, you get no dirt background. But I really wish that the text would have been a different color because it's definitely hard to read that a little bit. If I click on help and options, there's also a few research packs already installed. Got the candy pack, city, fantasy, Halloween, Mass Effect, Natural, Plastic, and Skyrim. And there's also a few worlds pre-installed, which is Title Update 3, Stampy's Lovely World. We've got Random's Adventure Map, The Festive World, The Dropper, Skyden, Title Update 31, The Halo Match Pack, Super Mario, and Fallout. And plus, when you're loading into worlds, you'll see little tips on the bottom of the screen. But here we are within the game, and everything is like extremely bright. So matter of fact, if I do go down to options, there is a shader involved. So right here, either shaders, and we have CPH SBC. If you guys don't want the game looking as so bright, then you need to make a few alterations to the shader. So go ahead and make sure you're selecting the shader, then go over to the sidebar and turn off specular map. Go over to shader options, then you guys have a few different settings. I just recommend clicking reset, but if I were to go back to the game, everything is still bright. So go back over to the shader options and decrease this to 52. And make sure you turn smooth lighting all the way up and turn brightness all the way up. And when all that's done, as you can see now, the game looks a little bit closer to console edition and it's not as bright. And that is how you can make Minecraft Java Edition look almost like the console edition. Obviously, there are a few things that will be quite different. Like for example, the screen going upwards. Like maybe they could do a few things with the UI. Maybe make that match the console edition. But other than that, with all these mods installed, you do get yourself a pretty cool experience. And if you do want to get this pack, if you're down there, go and let me know your thoughts on what you think of all of this. And if you play on the Bedrock Edition, you will also find a video on the end screen where you can download all the console tutorial worlds. If you guys enjoyed today's video, then please let me know by leaving a like on it, subscribe if you're around here, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss an upload. For now, I hope you have a logical day, and I will catch you next time. Goodbye.